Hello and welcome back to the course of Mechatronics. This is Mandar Zado from SITCOE. Today we are going to deal with proximity sensors. The today's objective is to study different proximity sensors and their types. The outcome is the student will be able to explain proximity sensors and different types. Today we are going to cover the following contents that is introduction that means what is proximity sensor then different types of proximity sensors their construction working applications advantages and disadvantages so basically what is a proximity sensor a proximity sensor is nothing but it detects an object when the object approaches within the detection range and boundary of the sensor proximity sensors includes all the sensors that perform non-contact detection in comparison to the sensor such as limit switch that detects the object by physically contacting them so basically proximity sensor is nothing but it is a sensor which senses object without touching it hmm? right uh, and on the contrary limit switches are the sensors which detect the object when the object touches the switch there are different types of proximity sensor bus but in this video we're going to go, go for only two types that is inductive proximity sensor and capacitive proximity sensor basically these two types will be explained so we'll go through these types one by one so firstly in inductive proximity sensor so an inductive proximity sensor is an electronic proximity sensor which detects metallic object without touching them their operating principle is based on a coil and a high frequency oscillator that creates a field in the closed surrounding of the sensing surface the operating distance of the sensor depends on the coil size as well as target shape size and material so inductive proximity sensor are basically the sensor which have coil oscillator detector and output circuit the operating distance of the sensor depends on actuator shape size which is again strictly linked to the nature of the material the coil generates high frequency magnetic field in the front of the face of the sensor when the metallic target comes in the magnetic field it absorbs some amount of energy from the field and hence the oscillator field is affected the rise or fall of such oscillations is identified by a threshold circuit that changes the output of the sensor so basically this is the working of an inductive proximity sensor it will create a magnetic field because of the coil and when some object comes ne near the sensor it will disturb that magnetic field and then it will be identified by the oscillator field and it will give us output from the sensor so this is the constructional details of a inductive proximity sensor we can see here uh, we are having an oscillator circuit here then an induction coil is present which generates the changing magnetic field at the face of the sensor here and this is the, actually the uh, range of the sensor uh, and it is the field magnetic field which is disturbed if any object comes in this ray in this uh, area and that will be detected by the oscillator and we get will get some output from the sensor which will be again uh, proportional to the distance of the or other it will detect the uh, object so some object has come near sensor like advantage of inductive proximity sensor is they are very accurate compared to other technologies and have high switching rate they can work in harsh environmental condition so these are basic advantages disadvantages obviously there are few uh, it can detect only metallic targets as we are going to uh, use a magnetic field 
it will majority times will detect metallic targets only non metallic or liquid will be will not be possible and operating range is limited that is another disadvantage applications so we can find variety of applications of inductive proximity sensors these sensors are extensively used in industries military robotics railways uh, aerospace etc uh, they are used in proximity switches these sensors are used to notice ferrous metals like iron steel nickel and cobalt then it is used in medical field for mri that is magnetic resonance imaging used in traffic sensors for noticing the moving cars these sensors are used to detect the existence of an object within the application like pick and place throughout inspections it is used in metal detectors and it is used in automated industries so basically metal detectors we have uh, already seen uh, number of metal detectors we have gone through them uh, at various places people check like in malls etc when we go uh, major times we are checked by the authority for possessing any metallic objects uh, at uh, airport definitely there are number of movies in which they show met, uh, process of uh, uh, detecting any foreign object which will be which may be harmful or which is smuggled uh, so there the main application can be used as a proximity sensor next capacitive sensor capacitive sensors are used for non contact detection of metallic objects as well as non metallic objects like liquid plastics wooden metal etc capacitive proximity sensor use the variation of capacitance between the sensor and object being detected the capacitance method are very sensitive distance as minimum as 1 micro inch can also be measured with capacitive proximity sensors the main component of the capacitive proximity sensors are plate oscillator threshold detector and output circuit the plate inside the sensor acts as one plate of the capacitor and the target acts as the another plate of the capacitor and air acts as the dielectric between two plates the capacitive sensor can detect any targets whose dielectric constant is more than air as the object comes close to the plate of the capacitor the capacitance increases and as the object moves away from the capacit uh, sorry away then capacitance decreases an electronic circuit inside the sensor begins to oscillate the rise or the fall of such oscillation is identified by a threshold circuit which is again based on the output switches advantages of capacitive sensor it can detect both metallic as well as non metallic targets it has good stability high speed capacitive sensors are good in terms of power uses and low cost disadvantages they are affected by temperature and humidity it is difficult to design such capacitive sensors and again not so accurate when we compare them with inductive sensors so we have already gone through the capacitive sensors uh they are again used for various usage like we have already gone through pressure sensors so for pressure measurement we we can use capacitive sensors for displacement measurement we can use capacitive sensors uh, now for uh, identifying any object or nearness of object we can used capacitive proximity sensors so capacitive sensor basically we have already gone through the working principle of capacitive sensor also uh, capacitive sensors will always have two Uh, conductor plates and a dielectric fluid so we have already gone that uh, gone through that capacitance is measured in farads and as we move any one of the plates near to each other or away from each other or even we can uh, change the overlapping area or we can change the dielectric medium so by these three methods the capacitance is going to change and which is proportional to what we are going to measure so same principle is used here here what is done is one plate of the capacitor is replaced by that object which we are going to detect and the other one is the sensor of the capacitive proximity sensor so likewise capacitive sensors are used applications 
so again there are wide applications like in digital audio players we use computer displays we use capacitive proximity sensors mobile phones proximity sensors are used proximity sensors uh, we already discussed this also proximity sensors actually measure the nearness of object so basically this was the information regarding two types of proximity sensors inductive type and capacitive type uh, remaining we can discuss in other class thank you